Bloodstained Ritual of the Night is Koji Igarashi's latest Castlevania game that isn't Castlevania, but it totally is Castlevania. With its Kickstarter campaign launched in 2015 of June, and after numerous delays, we finally have the game in all its Metroidvania glory. Surely, after numerous delays to polish this game, you would think there wouldn't be any technical bugs at launch, and it wouldn't crash any computers or brick consoles, right? <sighs> wrong, wrong, wrong. And despite this game pissing me off, crashing multiple times during the absolute worst situations, such as a victory after a tough boss fight, or grinding for rare items, this game is damn good. And I mean, damn good. After finally escaping the dungeon Konami had locked him in for years, Igarashi finally left the company and began production on his spiritual successor to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Launching a Kickstarter in June 2015 and raising almost $6 million, this game's journey would be a long and arduous one, encountering several delays after receiving critical feedback from fans as a demo was available to play at E3 2016. After an overhaul of the graphical design, the game was finally released in June of 2019. Let's just get my two main criticisms out of the way right now, because after that, I'm going to start gushing about the game. The game's graphical design still looks cheap, I know it isn't cheap, and I know how expensive it is to make a game with pixel art aesthetics, but I'm sorry. The game's graphical design still sucks. I don't care for excuses that it's too expensive. You raised almost six million dollars. Look at Axiom Verge. That game is incredible, and one guy made it. One guy! This game is also buggy as hell, and I'm not going to get into how pissed off I was when the game crashed at m the most inopportune moments. But you can imagine how pissed I was after grinding for an hour for rare items, and the game crashing right before I hit a save point. Just as a note, I did play this on PC, and I was an early Kickstarter backer, so I'm extra pissed about this. Despite these major criticisms, this game is one of the best games of 2019, hands down. This game plays exactly like the DS Castlevania games, which are some of my favorites in the Metroidvania genre. Yes, it has clear homages to Symphony of the Night, but I felt this game played like the handheld games, and that's a huge positive. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night is a 2D side-scrolling action RPG with swords, whips, guns, and magic that reminded me so much of Order of Ecclesia, my favorite Castlevania game, and that's a big compliment. The magic in the game is obtained by beating regular foes and bosses alike. Every one of the enemies in the game has a shard to inherit, which is their magical abilities, but you have to grind for it. I'm torn on this. Because while I really like the idea that you can inherit every enemy's magical ability, there are a small handful of shards you HAVE to obtain from regular enemies you defeat in order to progress in the game, such as in the ability to swim. The game really doesn't do a good job of telling you that. I'll stop being negative about that for the last time and just say this. Gameplay is king and the gameplay in this game is top notch. As I mentioned before, this game has a lot of references to Symphony of the Night, right down to its story and characters. You play as Miriam, a shardbinder, in 18th century England during the Industrial Revolution. She journeys along with some friends to find and stop her once colleague Jeebel from summoning demons to destroy England and wreak havoc on the alchemists who experiment on it. That's all I'll say about the story without spoiling it. The voice acting in the game is really good. There are some really talented voice actors like Erica Lindbeck who plays Miriam, Ray Chase who plays Jeebel, and Solid Snake himself, David Hayter, who voices Zangetsu. Robert Belgrade who voiced Alucard in Symphony of the Night is also voicing a certain vampire in this game as well. Did I mention the Symphony of the Night references already? Yeah. And the music is by Michiro Yamane, and yet, you guessed it, she worked on the music for Symphony of the Night. 
She also worked on a litany of Konami games in the past, as well as all of the Castlevania games from Bloodlines all the way to Order of Ecclesia. She just knocks it out of the park, as always, with the soundtrack, and does a great job. Right when you start the game and hear the track Voyage of Promise, you just feel like you slipped on your favorite slippers, cozied up by a nice fire, and ate your favorite comfort food. The score takes you back to a time where Konami was making awesome games and not being obsessed with making pachinko machines. Look, hands down, this is a contender for 2019 Game of the Year. It's just a really, really fun game. I completed 100% of the game in about 20 hours or so, and I still couldn't wait to jump back in and start a New Game Plus run. Without a doubt, this is the best crowdfunded game so far, and I am so glad to say that, because it sure as hell was getting shaky after those numerous delays and wondering if this game would end up like Mighty No. 9. Thankfully, I can happily say it didn't, and this game is worth it every damn penny of its $30 price tag, even with all those BS bugs I encountered and the graphical presentation that I didn't care for. Now all I want is more games like this from EGA, and I really hope we get them sooner rather than later. If you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Thanks for watching.